Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel XMEP Expert. In today's video, we will be learning how we can insert the bulk data into the SQL Server using VBA. So the question is very simple. The question, you know, we know how we can insert the data into the SQL Server, but in that case, what we do, we write the you know, single, uh, we write the query one by one. You know, we write the query like this: insert data uh, into this table, okay, in this field, and this data. Let me let me show you the one case here i have created the one table here you guys can see all right so the table is select star master data for example this is the table i have all right so here what we do usually we you know insert the data one by one insert into take a master data the values what would be the values values would be like akash all right account type would be cd and open by open by Suraj for example all right and branch is up all right and after that customer is rich for example okay and date would be 0 to 0 to 2023 for example and amount is my string this my begin so let me insert the data like this so open type class into the into the date so let, let me all right uh, the data i have inserted all right the data you can see here right but the thing is how many let's suppose we have to insert the 1500 data 15 uh, 1500 rows of a data we have to insert so 1500 times you will be you know you will be writing this uh, uh, insert insert query into into the sql editor so we have to do something okay we have to do something which can upload the bulk data into the sql server so that is what today we will be doing so let me explain you i have already the we have this table right so as per this table i have one data here on my desktop if you will see so the same okay the same uh, data and the same header we have in this file all right so the file the table which you can see on my screen right now in the sql server so we have agent account type open branch and the same headers we have in this file but what i want i want this data should be uploaded okay in one go okay using vb so how we can do that right that is what we will be learning okay in today's video so let's move to this VBA editor. Before proceeding further, I would like to tell you how we can, how we have to basically, uh, you know, what all the things we have to, we have to enable before writing the code. In order to integrate our SQL Server with the Excel, in that case, we need the external library, which is Microsoft ActiveX Data Object 6.0 library. All right. So let's let me open the VBA editor Alt F11. Here, what you have to do, you have to go on tools and reference. You have to enable this library. I have already enabled Microsoft ActiveX Data Object 6.1 6.1 library. All right. So if you will be scrolling down, okay, you will be able to see the middle. All right. So the, just enable it, and after that, let's start to write the code. So let me write the code. Subject bulk insert. So let's start to declare the variable dim crn as new abudb connection rst as new report set k as integer for looping right and we have to also open the workbook we have to create the string as well so that's let me set the crn crn would be like new adudb connection right now what we are doing we are declaring a cnn as a new adodb connection it means now we are going to create the new connection between the sql and excel all right and after that let me create the string string would be like this provider sql oledb it is very important line you have to mug a bit if you want integrated security would be sspi and after that data source Source would be a SQL server name. 
what we have what you have to do you have to go in on your sql server you have to right click here you have to click on connect this is the server name you have to copy all right you have to paste it after that we have to provide the initial initial catalog uh, bit or database name database name is my build card in sql so because the master data I have created in the database of build card in SQL. All right. So let me open this string. So let's run it first for the testing purpose. Yeah, it is working quite good. It is working right. And after that, we have to set the RST as a new record set. And we have to, and after making the connection, we have to open that particular file which we want to upload on the SQL server. So let me set the so let me open that file set wkb workbooks.open after that file name you have to provide so you have to go on that file and right click on that and take the path of this file on properties on security i copied it and after that let me go back here all right once the file will get open, it should start to run the code. So, in order to run the code, in order in order to run the loop, we have to you know we have to use we have to here run the for next loop. Okay, in order to in order to bulk uploading in the SQL server. Let me start to work the code. Okay, my file will get open, and after that, I want to I want to define that particular table in which I want to upload the data. My data table name is master data here. You guys can see master data. That is my table name I have to provide here. And after that you have to provide the connection. Alright. Open dynamic and upon AD log optimistic. Right. And after that let's start to run code K equal to because once the file will get open, this loop should start to run from the row number two. I don't want to I don't want to upload the header. So this is why I am mentioning here too and after that dynamic range would be are like this range 8, 10, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6 for example and go up and give me the last row. After that from the 2 until the last row whatever the last row we will be having alright in that case what happened the last row it will provide me and then this line would be provide me the last last row number of the data okay then i want to run my loop from two uh, from row number two to from row number two to okay x y z uh, row number i mean whatever the row number we will be having in that particular file right after that i want to provide if rng a k dot value if this is not blank then it should restart to run the code rsc dot add new Okay, how many columns we have? We have almost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, so we have to write the code like this. rst.fail. In SQL Server, the indexing of column starts from 0. So, it, I will provide value. Range a e dot value. All right. After that, I need to copy and paste several times. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, because if you will start to count from zero, so total will be seven. Okay, we have to provide B, C, D, E, F, G. And after, after you know, uh, mentioning my column names. Okay, uh, now I want to, now now I want to update it into the SQL server. I mean in the table. So I have to write RST dot update. Right. After that, I want to put end if and loop should get over and connection should get close. And after that, my file also should be closed. Close not false and message loss. So this is the code which we have, which we have and which we have written right now. This code can you know upload the bulk data into the SQL server. Right now, let me show you the data in the SQL server. Right now, the what data I have? Let me. I have only the one record into this 
master data into this table i mean master data we have only one record let's run this code okay f8 i'm pressing f8 all right file actually got open here okay let's see it is working or not okay it start to work okay the conversation failed converting data and odd time from the correct string okay uh, so it is showing let me change the format format would be So conversion, conversion, conversion failed when converting date or an odd time from the correct string. Okay. So this is the date here. Okay. And what, what thing we have declared and the data type we have mentioned. Okay. This is the date. But in the SQL Server in the table we have provided this. We have provided the different data type of this particular column. So the data type we have to change. We have, uh, we have, you know, mentioned in the SQL. Okay, the column date would be as a string. So what we have to do in order to upload, we have to convert this into the string first. Okay, let me convert it into the text. Now the we will be not getting error. So let's save and close it again. All right. So now let me rerun it. File got open. Alright, let's start to run it. It is working or not? Still, we are actually getting same error. Let me remove it. Like this, F8, F8, yes, it is working fine now. So, let me press F5 now. I press F5, it's working done. Then, it means all the data now should have uploaded all right so let's see let's check it here i'm uh, running this query select star from master data okay. now you guys can see how easy it is to uploading the bulk data into the sql server using using some script or some uh, lines of code in the vba all right and this code even i will provide you in, into my description okay uh, from there that you can you know copy this code and you can use it as per your requirement you can make the manual amendments as well if you want and apart from that this is the single right now what what we did we did uh, we uploaded the data only of one sheet but in my upcoming videos I will be telling you how we can upload the multiple workbook data in one go okay into the SQL server all right that is what we will be learning in up upcoming videos right so in this video i have just you know told you about how we can integrate the data and how we can upload the bulk data okay bulk data into the sql server i did not want to make you confused to tell you each and everything in only one video so this is why i thought let's make it a bit easy but in upcoming videos definitely i will be making the videos on the different topic the topic will remain same but yes the condition will get changed condition would be that how we can uh, you know upload the multiple workbooks okay on the sql server okay and along with some calculation along with some condition you know that is the advanced things we will be doing in up upcoming videos right so thank you so much everyone so enjoy it and after apart from that if you think that red box i will definitely okay will be you know telling you what and uh, what 